What's up guys and welcome back to my little sub rolling shop here in Northern California. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through doing a cylinder leak down test. This is a really important procedure to be able to do on any internal combustion engine, but for Subaru engines, they're definitely a lifesaver. So stay tuned guys, this is going to be a really, really important video to check out. My little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, first off, I'll let you guys know OTC is a brand for leak down testers that I like to use. I actually have this OTC leak down tester available in my Amazon store, so you guys can click that link below and pick up one of these OTC leak down testers if you need one. Okay, getting back to the video, basically I've set up three simple steps right here that you guys can follow. And this is basically my procedure, my standard operating procedure that I apply for running a leak down test. The first step is to find top dead center. I'm going to walk you guys through how you do that on a Subaru engine. It's really, really easy and really quick. And after you've found top dead center, then you're going to apply 100 PSI to that cylinder. And you're going to have to use an air compressor or compressed air to apply that air pressure. And then the third step is basically to locate that leak after you've read how much leakage you have. And we're going to walk through that step as well in the next few minutes. Okay, step one to find top dead center is to grab this piece from your cylinder leak down test. This is a piece that actually screws into the spark plug hole. Go ahead and screw that piece into the spark plug hole first. That'll be the first step. All right, and then connect that loose end to your cylinder leak down tester. That way we can now monitor the pressure inside that combustion chamber. And that's actually the trick to find top dead center. We're actually gonna rotate that crankshaft. And as we rotate that crankshaft, the piston is gonna start moving up and down inside that cylinder bore. And as that piston moves up and down that cylinder bore, we're actually gonna see changes in the cylinder pressure on this gauge. So that's how we're gonna find top dead center. We're gonna wait until we find the cylinder and we're gonna watch this little needle start spiking up. That means we're actually having the cylinder come up to top dead center. And as that cylinder comes all the way up to top dead center, we're gonna slowly see that needle stop spiking. And that means the cylinder's all the way up at the top dead center. And that's when we wanna run this leak down test, when the piston is at top dead center. Okay, as I rotate this engine, you're gonna see that cylinder come to this piston. There you go, it's already in. You see that little needle start spiking every time I rotate the piston a little bit? You can actually see that that piston is now on this cylinder, and every time I rotate the crank a little bit, the piston comes up in the cylinder and creates a little bit of pressure. And then right there, it stopped making pressure. So I'm gonna leave it right there, and now that piston is at top dead center. So we can now apply 100 PSI of pressure to that cylinder. We can watch what the leakage is in that cylinder. And once we have some leakage occurring, we can actually go ahead and pinpoint where that leakage is coming from. It's either gonna be coming from the valves, which is the intake valves or the exhaust valves, or it's gonna be coming from that cylinder bore in the rings. And if it's coming from the cylinder bore in the rings, we're actually gonna hear it escaping through the PCV system. Okay, let's slowly go ahead and apply 100 PSI. You see the needles rising. Now this is our control gauge and this is a pressure gauge we're reading. So basically bring this control gauge up to 100 PSI right on the nose. And then right there, you're gonna go ahead and read what our leakage is. So right at about 94 PSI or 6% leakage in this cylinder. That's how you read these gauges. That's a 6% leakage. And typically anything within 7% leakage is within specs. Once you're applying 100 PSI of air pressure and you actually have some leakage occurring, this is actually a little tool that I like to use. This is an automotive stethoscope. And this actually has this little funnel tip on the end, which really helps amplify that sound so you can tell exactly where that leakage is occurring from. So once that leakage starts occurring, I'll actually stick this tip in the exhaust port and that will tell you if it's an exhaust valve. I'll stick it in one of the intake ports of your intake manifold or your head and that will tell you if it's one of the intake valves or I'll stick it on my oil fill tube or one of my PCV ports. And wherever you hear air rushing by from those three locations, that's basically where you're gonna have that leakage occurring or a combination of all three. But typically when you use one of these automotive stethoscopes, you can really kind of diagnose and tell where most of that air is escaping from. So that's it guys, it really is that straightforward. It's just really three simple steps. Find top dead center, apply 100 PSI of air pressure, and then locate where that leakage is occurring so you can diagnose if it's coming from the exhaust valves, the intake valves, or your rings in your cylinder walls. 
Thanks a lot for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you can actually get this cylinder leakage tester on my Amazon store, and I'll include a link in the description below. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section, and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Also, if you guys need factory service manuals or any factory technician guides, I actually have all those available on my SubaruOnly.com website for free. So make sure you check out that website, check out that archive of factory service manuals if you guys are working on your Subaru, because it's definitely good to have that factory service manual for all the torque specs and all the procedures, even if it's a little bit of a redundancy. Okay guys, thanks a lot for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. I hope this video helped you guys, and I hope you guys definitely know how to run a cylinder leakage test now on your Subarus. My name's Luke. You guys are watching the Subaru Only channel. Until next time, guys. Later!